Hi guys, my name is Umu and I'm Reactive K's channel creator and welcome to my first listen of, oh my goodness, I don't even know the title of the album, I was just like, yeah, it's, it's Cosmic Girls and someone told me that the chord progression is good into the song, so I'm just gonna react to it. It's called For The Summer! Welcome to my For The Summer first listen and yeah, I'm just gonna dive in and I don't know, I've been, I've been liking Cosmic Girls' latest stuff, so I'm excited. So I'm just going to be listening to the audio snippets of this, no lyrics. If I feel the need, I will look up the lyrics later, but for now, it's just audio. Just you, me, and audio. Three, two, oh my summer. Hello, fake brass. It almost sounded acapella like a bass. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sounding like someone, but it might be a synth. Or it might be a person singing. Here. Is that cowbell I hear? This is. Oh. I like where it's going. Oh, okay. So we've hinted at all of this just at the beginning of the song and we're just combining it all for the chorus. Strings too. Some fun runs. Oh. I really like all these sounds. I like how we, in both channels, we have the guitar rhythmic steady part, like dun dun dun, and then we had the synths just like running above it into both right and left channels. Right in the, okay. Right channel right now. Okay, stay there. I like the swell of the background vocals. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Cabo. I feel like it was, this course would be a tiny bit more funky and lively if those brass or those brass that that brass was real. If it was real, it'd be a little bit more liveliness to it. Yeah, I love the string part. Yeah, it's a good combination of acoustic and fun sense. There's the major, minor, and then suddenly major three. Another minor. Major. Mm -hmm. That might have been time. I think maybe that was a major one. Yeah. I feel like that melody is like... It's like kind... Is it a pitch bend? No, it isn't a pitch bend. It's calling for a pitch bend. Something like that. I don't know whether I sang that in tune or not. Yeah, that was fun. It had like unique things here and there. And um, I, I, just, I just really enjoyed it. Now let's jump into my type. Three, two, one. There's some more cowbell. Okay. Boy, yeah! I like the bass synth they added in. No, that's a guitar. That's a guitar, isn't it? Come 
Okay. For some reason, this is like... I have no idea what I listened to in late elementary school, but it's kind of giving me a throwback to middle school-esque vibes of what I listened to. Late elementary, middle school vibes. I'm guessing it's like the guitar progression and rhythm. Yeah. That's fun. Right before the transition, they had like the little switch between switch between right and left channels. And right there also the bass. This whole song is like bright blues and yellows and pinks and then suddenly for that section of the bridge because I feel yeah it's still the bridge right now right and we're leaning back to the chorus yeah taking out half the instrumental and then there we have the yeah slowly adding more and more in everything's back in yeah yeah, so then we switched to like black and dark brown for that one tiny section of the bridge. <laughs> Interesting they chose to do that. I guess they knew that they needed a color change, but they kind of went extreme with that. Okay, we get a little uh, uh, lose note. Nice. Nice. They could have totally done like another unneeded repetition of the chorus, but no. I think, yeah, this was the right length. It had an interesting color change in the bridge, and we had some bluesy kind of riffing in the last chorus. And again, it is just fun, peppy, light, summery. I'm not mad at it at all. I enjoyed it. Okay. Let's dance! Or let's just dance. Let's dance! Gonna be okay! Three, two, one! Oh, and it continues in a different instrument. Or, different synth. This, this album is the cowbell album. Oh, I love the slidey synth. This is, so, this is a really good change from the song before, because the one before is a lot of higher, lighter colors than this one I'm getting. I don't have synesthesia, is that what it's called? But I still can imagine colors when I hear things. <laughs> this one starts off darker, now we're gonna go for a lighter feel during the course? No. Oh, this is good! Oh, yeah! Triple it. I like the echo. Three, four, one. On two and four, the hit on two and four kind of... The, the percussive hit lasts a tiny bit longer. Ta! Ta! Okay, we have the bass with the repeated, can we call it ostinato? But then we have like the bass that's ba ba. Okay, well it's no longer gonna do that, but it's like ba ba, ba ba, towards the end of each measure. Kind of like a drum line rhythm in the snare. 
kind of. Yeah. The bass part is still, even though it's like repeated in each section, it's gonna change now. No, it isn't. Kind of. But because they keep changing the layering and the, the synth that's playing it and they're adding, you know, like the sax line over it sometimes. I didn't expect that. Okay. But anyways, yeah, it's, it's still fresh. Because usually that's like one of my complaints. is like, oh, the, the chord progression or the loop like sticks out through the whole song. But this is still fresh. Oh, uh, uh. But I may be biased because this is like totally my cup of tea. really freaking good. It was energetic and it had a rad ass loop going on in the bass synth that, you know, had that awesome sax part in the chorus and I already kind of said everything that I wanted to say during the song. So moving on to the final song of the album, Sh Sugar Pop. Three, two, one. Oh, this guitar part has promise. This is on par with harmonic weirdness with Promise Nines' fun. This is, this is equally as weird and fun, if not more. Oh, this is great! things happening. right now. This is great. Harmonically, rhythmically, sound-wise, everything. Everything's so good. Love the vocal slide. Where could we possibly go for the bridge? We've gone everywhere already. Of course, like, this is, this is definitely the way to go. Just kind of ethereal and echoey, reverby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'd go crazy to this in the club. I don't go to clubs, but I go I'd, I'd go to a club to dance to this. <laughs> So 
song. Okay, so Cosmic Girls, 12 o'clock has been like top 10 favorite songs of 2019 for a while, but damn, this song I think just beat it. This is, I think, I mean this is definitely, this song is definitely react worthy for the Classical Musicians React series, but I, I think we could compare it maybe to 12 o'clock? I'll need to re-listen to both like in a row to make sure the styles aren't too drastically different. Um, but then again, we've compared two drastically different things in the past a lot of times before. Oh. Man! Oh! Cosmic Girls just keeps releasing really, really solid B-side songs. They're really... They're, they're getting up there. They're just surprising me and delighting me and satisfying me and this album made me really really happy. I'm gonna purchase it and it's gonna be my go-to album for this summer. Have a wonderful summer guys. Um, yeah, this, this song will appear I think next semester or next school year, season four of Classical Musicians React. It'll happen. Damn, that was so good! Thanks for watching guys. Bye.